The time has come to once again make this, make this computer super fast. <laughs> there are many guides out there that just haven't helped me that much until I ran into the Debloater software. Absolutely amazing, super strong, super good, and super easy to use. In my opinion, an absolute staple with every PC that uses the freaking Windows 10. No, there's so much stuff in Windows 10, it's more confusing than helpful. So, yeah, they just packed everything, they just, and they're like, just use it, you know, everyone has a 10k PC, so they'll be fine, no worries. Well, the catch is that Windows 10 is it's making everything laggy, even while you're watching this video right now, it might be laggy for you. Anyway. This is gonna fix it. I'm not gonna make this intro too long. <clears throat> so, in the video description, I put the link to the site. That's it's it's called GitHub. Some of you may know it because you're nerds. <laughs> Just like me, it's fine. And uh, use use that link make an account i already have one so i'm not gonna make a new one screw that i believe in your capabilities <laughs> i know that you can do it i believe in you make a make an account and on that link you will find this code click on it download zip there you go you just download the upload super easy uh open it there you go we're gonna extract it Right wherever you want to. It's your choice. Put it here. New folder on a desktop. There we go. We already have it. Double click. If you're interesting about this one. GUI. I haven't experimented with the other ones. But this one is like I, I can control what I'm doing to my PC at least. You choose which actions you want to perform. And uh I'm I'm not using all of them. At least not yet. I haven't experimented that much, but the ones that I'm using are really helpful, super good, and they're just enough in my opinion. And it's first of all it's this one, remove all bloatware. So yeah, once you right clicked it, run with PowerShell. There we go. These two don't close anything. Um there you go. This, this one, thank you. Let's see what we have. Remove all bloatware. Click. There we go. And it's removing. Let it remove the tasks. Let it take its time. It's doing stuff right here. Oh, it says not to respond. It is responding. Don't worry. Let it take its time. Uh, if it tells you that it needs to be run as an as a uh, administrator here just press a and enter okay that's all it's not asking me it's probably not gonna ask you too but if it does just press a or y just press a keyboard and enter it's performing its its task let it just do what it needs to do whatever and there some of these tasks are not allowing you to They, they, they're not being performed it seems and that's fine maybe there are some important things for windows so yeah whatever finished all tasks ggs need to do anything else you can disable cortana there we go who is cortana cortana has been disabled uh unpin tiles from start menu. i don't do that bloatware rec is sure that's pretty good uh, let it take its time. Some of these tasks just need to take some time, but you know, like one minute or so. Perfectly fine. Uh, I'm I'm not using this one. Uninstall OneDrive. Hell no. I'm not using this one as well. Not needed. I disable Cortana. I remove broadware, broadware rec keys, 
And that's pretty much it needs to be done. After this, your computer will be super fast. I mean, just just let me know if it worked out as well as it did for me. I'm here to I'm here to do this and share how it's done when your computer gets laggy and stuff. So this is it. Everything has been done. X X everything closed and you're ready to roll. You liked it? Please just subscribe to my channel and follow my Twitch as well. That would be amazing. That would make your computer even faster. Okay, this is not confirmed information, but you know, I'd give it a try. What is confirmed though that the bloater works miracles. It works wonders. Absolutely amazing. All the best. All the best to you. Till the next time. Adios.